Hi everybody, this is Dr. Ravindran Kumaran from Apollo Fesmet Hospitals in Kiel Park. So today's topic is about bleeding, bleeding in the large intestine. So how do we kind of realize that we are bleeding? Often there is blood expelled along with feces when you are in the toilet. And patients do notice the change in color, right? So patients often dismiss it as piles and to be fair, uh, the hemorrhoid, we call piles as hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoidal bleeding is extremely common in the community. So it is not like you can never bleed from your bottom. But then there is a pattern to it. So I have having one off bleeding and never have a problem again does not require a great deal of investigations or hospital visits. But for somebody where there is repetitive instances where they are bleeding, then definitely it has to be evaluated by an appropriate surgeon and make sure that we are not missing something more sinister. So there are various types of bleeding. So you can have bright red blood dripping into the toilet pan or you can have blood mixed with the stools or you can have very dark blood sometimes massive amounts come out. So different diseases present differently requiring you know often emergency admission and blood transfusions and further interventions to stop bleeding. I am going to highlight on the big bleeds right. So why does somebody have major bleeding through their rectum? presenting as frank blood per rectum, meaning when you open your bubbles, it is predominantly blood and nothing else. So that can happen when you have a diverticulum which bleeds. So we refer to it as a diverticular bleed. So diverticulum are small outpouchings in the large intestine, which can sometimes trigger these bleedings. You can have a blood vessel anomaly which can bleed and that can also sometimes be very catastrophic. You can have a tumor which bleeds. You can have a cancer which has been there for a while and cancer bleeds are not very torrential but very persistent. So you can have a patient who gives this history of several months of blood mixed with these tools. So again, depending upon where the tumor is within the large intestine, the very, you know, the color of the blood is variable, whether it is mixed with stools, whether it is mixed with mucus, all these things are very variable. So general rule of thumb, any blood in the stools which is happening for more than one occasion, I think has to be evaluated properly, often with the surgeon and often requiring a colonoscope to make sure that we are not missing anything sinister. You can also have very dark blood very very dark blood which actually comes from higher up the large intestine so you can have a small intestine bleed or even an ulcer bleed from up to the duodenum of the stomach which can mimic large intestine bleeds but then to a specialized doctor they will be able to differentiate with with appropriate investigations and serious bleeding you know big bleeds require hospitalization this is not something which we sit at home and hope that it will stop this will require hospitalization. Driving to the hospital is not an option. Somebody takes us along with them or you call for an ambulance because this can be sometimes extremely dangerous to our life. Thank you.